Hi everyone, it's Andrew from Mr. RC Sound here. Um, hey, I just got this new uh, plane. This is the P51 V8. This one is the uh, PD second, and uh, I got this from Motion RC. Um, just got it all together. I removed the uh, stock pilot and put in my uh, uh, modified pilot that was done by Brandon Moon. Thank you, Brandon. Love this pilot. He had to go in the new plane. Um, and anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to install the uh, the Mr. RC Sound version 4.1 with two TT25 transducers in here. So it does need uh, just a little bit of modification, but um, not a whole lot at all. Going to have to trim up a little bit of foam to uh, to install the TT25s, but other than that, uh, it's almost like there, there's a spot made for the card here. So um, just wanted to show you what the best way to do this was and how to mount these TT25s to get the best performance out of them. So uh, why don't we start? Okay, here we are. We got the cover off, and uh, as you can see here, I've already done a lot of the wire routing and stuff like that. Um, tied it back with zip ties, made it nice and neat. I'll do some better pictures here in just a little bit so that you can see that. Um, but uh, where we're going to put the TT25 is I want it as close to the CG as possible. And this is a pretty good rule of thumb. That way you don't have to add any nose weight or tail weight to... Uh, to modify the CG. So CG is probably going to be right about in here. So we could put them back here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. Back here um, with no uh, uh, modification at all. They'll fit right in there. But then we'd have to add some weight to the nose. So what I'm going to do is uh, if you look at the cover, let me bring this up here. It's already cut out right here. I didn't modify this or anything. I haven't touched any of this. Um, so that's going to be a good spot for the uh, for the TT25 because it's not going to be interfering with anything on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off this, make it a little bit uh, um, thinner here so that it's all nice and flush. And then there's a piece right here I'm going to trim down as well and make that nice and flush. And then we're going to take the TT25 and we're going to mount it right in there like that. So why don't we start with trimming that down. And let me back the plane up just a little bit, zoom out just a hair so that we can see a little bit better. There we go. So I'm going to take a, a good long knife here. Um, and I got a razor, one of these dollar razor blade knives. And, uh, and I, I like it nice and long because I like doing one cut here. So I'm going to start right from here. I'm going to just cut back, try to get it. I'm kind of working at an odd angle here because I don't want to get in the in the way of the camera. So I'm just uh, doing a straight cut right up to here. Okay. And then we're going to cut right into that edge there. Okay. And this is not going to affect the, uh, the plane stability or anything like that. Um, now I need to trim that up just a hair right there. Let's take this. We'll just kind of well, go from this direction here and trim that up just a little bit more, make it a little bit smoother. Okay. And then I'm going to trim this piece up here as well. So I'm going to kind of get down in there like this, kind of work along, try not to put the knife through the, the skin of the plane. And Okay. I'm just going to kind of grab that and pull that pull that out a little bit here. And uh, I'll trim that up a little bit better in just a second here. There we go. So my knife kind of went at, at an angle a little bit, but it's not a big deal. Uh, so trim that up just a hair there. Okay. Now we got a pretty smooth mounting surface right in here for the TT25. Now that we've uh, trimmed that up and it's fairly flush now, you can see it's uh, pretty close to flush. So the TT25 is going to fit there um, really nice. It's going to fit in just about like that. We want it down flush so we're not hitting anything. Um, and uh, the, one of the reasons that I chose this space is um, it's, it's fairly thin, which is going to give good output. Um, it's fairly large area. It also has one open end, so that allows this, uh, this area to op resonate a little bit more. So we're going to get good tone and sound out of this. So um, one of the things that I do recommend 
Um, some people have had problems with the 3M sticky on this not holding. So what I'm recommending now that customers do is let's just do away with the, uh, the 3M sticky. Uh, future versions may have this actually removed. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel off the sticky stuff. So we're going to pull the cover off and we're going to pull the sticky right off of it. Okay, so you just kind of grab it, peel around here like so until you're down to the bare plastic ring so after there's nothing you know it's really easy to take off that that took it off really easy now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of ca glue and i kind of hate doing this over the uh the fuselage of the plane here because i my ca bottle is not the best and i don't want to drip it but i will um so you take it we're going to put a little ca on the ring just just a bead of CA around the ring. Don't need to go overboard. Now I'm going to take a little bit of accelerator. I'm going to spray the area with accelerator. And then I'm going to take the TT25 with the wire pointing this way because we're installing the card down in here. And I'm going to take it. We're going to mount it just like that. Okay, just hold it for a couple seconds. Okay, well, that's on there good. She ain't going to come off. And we're just a hair behind the CG on this, so we may be able to move the battery just a little bit forward. Might have to put a quarter of an ounce up front to make it, uh, make it balance, but we're, we're pretty close to that CG, so we might not even have to do anything. And that moves freely. It uh, might need to trim just a little bit right here at the bottom um, where it might touch a little bit. Let's make sure that the... Uh, Nothing is going to interfere here when we put the canopy on. Okay, you look good there. So, what I might do is I might take these tabs and just bend them back a hair to make sure that we're not uh, we're not binding against the the bottom of the canopy. So that should be good. So let's go ahead and do the other side, and then we'll do the card install. Here we go with the other side, just like before. Uh, just gonna take our long knife here. I'm doing it at a better angle. I can see better this time. So I can get a nice clean cut here. Right along there. So I'm trying to get the, the knife flush with the inside. And go right up to, right up to there. And that is about all we need to really remove on this plane. Oh, look at that. Nice flush on that. And then we just got to trim this little piece up right here. Just so we're not bumping into it is all. Uh, okay, so we took that out. Need to flush it up just a little bit. go so that looks that looks really good so room for our TT25 there so we're going to repeat the process that we did so we're going to this time I'm going to take these tabs and I'm just going to bend these tabs in just a little bit it's easier to do it beforehand that way we're making sure we're not hitting anything so now I'm going to repeat the process here peel off that and then peel just grab the sticky stuff it's like a rubbery tape kind of stuff made by 3M. And I've actually had very good luck uh, with it holding. I've had a couple planes where it's been on for hours of use and uh, no problem. But uh, others have said that uh, not such good luck. So I recommend really taking it off and just putting some CA on it instead. And you're never going to have problems with the CA on it. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to take the CA. Put a bead of CA on it, around it, looks good. Take my accelerator, spray the area good. I'll probably go overkill on the accelerator, but I want to make sure it's going to stick. And I'm going to try to line it up so it's directly across from, from that one, and that it's at the same height. Okay. Okay. 
And that's all there is to it. And I think I am going to... Oh, there we go. That didn't quite hold there. I don't know if I didn't get enough CA or if I had... Let's, uh, let's try that again. I was a little bit low, too. I was bumping up against this, so that may have had something to do with it. So there's a little lip there, so I'm going to put a little bit more CA on here. And I'm going to hold it a little bit longer this time. I'm using a, a non-foam safe CA. It seems to bond better, I believe, than the foam safe stuff. There we go. Ooh, I heard a sizzle. <laughs> Okay, I'm a little bit forward on that. I didn't get it lined up quite good, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to take my knife right there. Let me hold it in place just for a couple seconds. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to run it right along there. That piece of foam. I'm going to get behind it. Pull that piece of foam out. See, that way, I'm sure that the TT25 is not binding against anything because it does need room to, to vibrate. Okay, so we got the two TT25s in. One's a little bit ahead of the other. Really shouldn't make any difference at all. So let's move on to the card install from here. Okay, we're all ready for the card install. Uh, as you can see, I, it's almost like they made this plane to handle the Mr. RC Sound version 4.1 card, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, I actually put some Velcro on here already. We're going to set the card right there. Pe loose piece of foam from cutting. Uh, I routed the wires along here, taped them back, and along here, taped them back, and I got my receiver and the wire bundles back here, not touching any of the uh, the servos or anything. So let's take a look at the uh, the card. So here's here's the card, the Mr. RC Sound version 4.1 card. And look at this. Is that cool or what? It's almost like they designed that spot for the card. Fits perfectly. So now I'm going to take a, uh, a Y cable here. I make my own Y cables. Um, I'm going to take a Y cable and this uh, we're going to plug this in. The sound card into the Y cable. Get it the right direction. And in a second I'm going to dig out the receiver. I'm going to plug this into the, uh, the throttle channel and then plug the throttle into this so that uh, both the sound card and the receiver are running off of the uh, the one channel, the throttle channel. So I'm going to plug the, the uh, TT25s in. Red wires always face inwards towards each other. So we got two of them. So there's two ports, a left port and a right port. Uh, they're on the front edge of the card along here. Okay, It's not the second port, that's a raw output to go to a secondary amplifier. So red to red, and we're nearly done with the install at this point. I'm just going to hook this up, and then um, when we hook the battery up, if you're a Spectrum user, always, always connect the sound card after your Spectrum receiver is up. Spectrum receivers take three, five, seven seconds to come up to full ready. So wait for your beep codes, make sure your receiver is up before you put in the... the uh, the sound card. If you don't, um, nothing dramatic is going to happen, but it won't be able to find its zero point. So when it doesn't find the zero point, uh, in other words, the low throttle point, it, you won't get correct throttle response from the sound card. So you plug in your battery first, and then you plug in the sound card. So what I've done here to make it easy, I use uh, Dean's connectors. So I just have a Dean's pass through with the uh, JST, this is included, the J JST female is hooked on to the card, and then um, these are available through the site as well, uh, so that you don't have to do any soldering or anything, it's literally plug and play. So there we are, we are done with that, I'll get the battery hooked up and then we'll give it a, give it a try here. Okay, so there we are. Uh, what I did is I plugged in the, uh, the receiver. Um, actually unplugged the throttle channel from the receiver and put it onto the Y cable and plugged the Y cable back in. Put the battery in. Now the battery's on a tray on this version and the TT25, uh, it is a little bit tight for the tray but I was able to finagle it in there okay. Um, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
I really don't foresee too much of a problem. Uh, the one minor issue that I did come up with is I had to modify this slightly. Uh, I had to do a little bit of uh, trimming down here around the legs. Um, and the reason for that is these tabs that were sticking out and I kind of thought that uh, might be an issue. So if I turned those so that they're in the six o'clock position so they are facing down, uh, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal. Um, but unfortunately I didn't do that. So uh, what we're looking at here is um, uh, just a little bit of trimming and uh, it, fit, it fits in okay. So we'll put that in and we'll power this up and just see what it sounds like now. So there you have it, maybe a little bit of playing around with the transmitter to uh, get uh, the startup sequence where you want it and stuff, but other than that, that's all there is to installing a uh, Mr. RC Sound version 4.1 with two TT25 transducers. Catch you next time.